Nolajet here, and in this episode, we're going to be working on the seven day cabbage soup diet. It's also known as the peel a pound soup, as apparently you're supposed to lose a pound a day when you eat this soup. Now, I actually did this diet a year ago, and it did work pretty well for me. So, I can say from past experience, I expect pretty good results this time. Now, it is uh, Lent time in New Orleans right now, and so I figured, hey, why not cram all of Lent into just seven days and give up everything except what's allowed on the cabbage soup diet? Because I like to get it done as quick as possible as Easter's on the way. And also, Nola Jen has been eating a lot of great food for all the videos we make, and I'm getting a little uh, large around the middle of my pants and kilt are getting a little too tight for comfort, and I'm ready to get beach body ready because, hey, it is the season coming up fast. So, let's go have a good time in here and see how we do with this seven day diet. We're gonna document it daily, so let's get started. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. So, our weigh in on the first day is 223.6. I've got my cabbage soup boiling and I'm ready to eat. Now, I do have the recipe for the soup in the description below. If you scroll past the description of the video, it'll be right under there. And it's the uh, standard recipe that I'll have down there with some suggested modifications to creole it up to make it more delicious and tasty. We also have to make a second batch later in the video, and I'll cover more of the details about how to uh, flavor it up and make it taste even better during that time. So if you just stick with the video, we'll get to that part soon enough. But this soup smells amazing. I can't wait to eat it. Mm. Here we go. Day one of the cabbage soup diet. Let's see how we do. I've done this one time before with really good results. So uh, should work well this time. And I actually find the cabbage soup uh, pretty darn tasty. So let's see how this batch turned out. Mmm. Taste a little of this broth first. That's the important part. Mm. Oh yeah, I've seasoned it well. Oh, I actually used a little green cabbage and red cabbage in here. And uh, in addition to the bell pepper, I also put in a little jalapeno pepper because I like to kick it up. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Second day weigh-in was 219.5 pounds. All right, day two of the cabbage soup diet. Now, day two, we're allowed to do a baked potato and add in an assortment of other vegetables besides just the cabbage soup. And uh, yesterday, I did eat one apple, which is allowed uh, according to the rules. So it's been cabbage soup, an apple, and then early this morning, I was dreaming of bread and delicious fresh baked bread for some reason, but I didn't give in to any temptations. And uh, instead of a baked potato though, I, uh, I just ate one of these tiny little boiled red potatoes left over from a crawfish boil. So uh, it's, you know, I think within the rules and actually a smaller potato, but with a lot more spice the way we like it here in New Orleans, because hey, a crawfish potato is uh, quite a wonderful thing. So. Ah, I gotta eat some more of the cabbage soup though. This is my uh, second cabbage soup uh, bowl of the day. Let's have a little more. So with some uh, food items, they're typically better and more spicy the next day. Let's see if that turns out to be the case with the cabbage soup diet. Ooh. Mmm. Still lots of good flavor in here. I uh, think I definitely gave it a lot of good uh, flavor and spice levels in here. Did a lot of herb spices to uh, really give it lots of extra love in here. Mm. Now, um, the last time, I didn't do any potato at all. I just did very straight, nothing but the cabbage soup and nothing else other than when you're allowed to do the meat later on, I did the meat definitely because I do love some meat. So uh, there are the other little additions and things that you can do each day that just want to be very strict first time. This time we'll uh, give ourselves a little more leeway. Later on in the day, I might uh, add in a little broccoli, maybe some of the other allowed vegetables. So, so far, uh, you know, I did lose a little bit of tiny bit of weight 
and uh, we'll see how it continues as we go. So I'm curious if I uh, don't stay as strict as last time, if I'll do as uh, much of a little uh, weight control uh, elimination there as I'm letting go of the weight. Day three weigh in is 218.3 pounds. Oh, it's day three of the cabbage soup diet. So today we can have uh, fruit and uh, the other vegetables on top of the cabbage soup today. But uh, so far, I uh, just added a little uh, broccoli in there. But broccoli's in the cabbage family, so I think it's pretty much just a little more uh, broccoli of a different kind. So I just put a tiny little bit of broccoli in here. A little variety of extra something else. Okay, let's see how the cabbage soup tastes today. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Still good. So, I've uh, been craving a little protein, a little meat. Definitely have uh, been thinking about that a little bit. A little lot uh, of dreams of uh, steak always flashing in your mind. So far, though, doing okay. I don't know if I'll even eat any fruit today. I'm not really craving anything sweet. I'm down another pound or so today. Uh, drinking a lot of water, too. Gone, uh, the uh, water is definitely going through me a lot. You have to go to the bathroom a lot. It seems that's kind of flushing out things as it digests. So uh, definitely notice an increase in going to the bathroom there. So doing all good. Hey, hey it's all fun so far. Day four weigh in, 216.6 pounds. All right, we're on day number four of the cabbage soup diet. This is a big day because, uh, first of all, I've just polished off that huge pot of cabbage soup already. This is the last of what's left. And tomorrow we get to add meat to the diet. Now, uh, the last time I did this, by the time I came to get to meat day, I was dying, craving my protein and the meat. This time, uh, not so much. So, um, I don't know. This time I've got a little more bloat on me after a year, over a year, of doing the Nolagent channel and feasting and eating a whole lot. Uh, but hey, you know what? I'm a little hungry right now. Let's taste this and see how the uh, last of the soup is. Ooh, the very bottom of the pot should have a lot of flavor. Let's see. Oh yeah, still good. I still like the soup a lot. I enjoy it. And uh, I gotta make another pot of it now because just because we had the meat, we still have to have the soup. Now, uh, the other thing I've done differently this time is uh, Today was supposed to be a banana day and milk day. I don't like uh, raw bananas, so no bananas for me, but did have a little milk and uh, I've also been drinking a lot of coffee this time. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good to have coffee. Uh, last time I just drank a lot of uh, water. Oh. Now, the uh, other good news I have for everybody out there is during the cabbage soup diet time, I also got the good news that Dead Sled Coffee now wants to be the official coffee sponsor of the Nola Gent channel. So, thanks so much to Dead Sled Coffee because, hey, they make some great coffee and it's the first sponsor I've got for the Nola Gent channel. So, I really appreciate it. Now, we're... Uh, Gonna fish off this uh, cabbage soup and then we're gonna go make some more. We'll let you see a little of the magic behind that. Ooh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, at the bottom of the cabbage soup, I'm gonna keep this uh, nice little pot liquor in here to make the next batch. Got a nice little uh, spice in there already to start it out. So we've got a bell pepper here. We've got some chopped up jalapenos here because I like a little extra kick. And this uh, bell pepper was so big that it didn't make sense to add another whole bell pepper. So I just added a little extra jalapeno for a little flavor this time. Red onion, some yellow onion, and a little celery. So we're going to get it started here. Oh, can I get it in here without making a mess? There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know. <laughs> so for the first batch, I used both a red cabbage and a green cabbage but uh these cabbages are way smaller than i've used in the past so 
All right, hopefully this will be enough to last, or we'll have to make a third pot. Through the magic of video editing, the cabbage is already chopped. All right, gotta add in the cabbage. Now normally in New Orleans, up in the St. Patrick's parades, you catch a lot of cabbages. Although they've kind of cut back on the cabbages recently uh, over the past few years because too many people got hit in the head with the cabbages, car windows got broke with the cabbages, so sadly there's not as many cabbages as there used to be. But there will be a few, they'll hand them out, they can't throw them anymore. Rules, rules. There we go, all right, so we just have to add a little more stuff in here to get it up and going, and we'll boil up yet another batch of our great cabbage soup. This is good stuff. Okay, here comes our next ingredient. So, I like to use the uh, Trader Joe's organic beef broth instead of bouillon cubes because it just has better flavor to me. So, let's add some of this. <laughs> So this is two boxes of it. Ooh, it's looking good. I'm also gonna add uh, two cups of water. And then, for the tomatoes, I highly recommend that you get a canned tomato substitute of a jar. So you want a glass jar of tomatoes because it's uh, safer and healthier for you. There are issues with tomatoes leaching out certain chemicals out of a old tin can style. So I think you're a lot safer, better off with this. Take the lid off. And here we go. Oh, these things are beautiful. Ah, there we go. Oh, this deliciousness. All right, so, all manner of good things. Just a few more steps to make this perfect. All right, now we're gonna get into some of the little uh, flavor spice secrets here. So here's an entire clove of garlics that I'm gonna put in. You could uh, crush them if you want to, chop them. I'm just gonna put them in whole because when I boil them, they'll kind of boil down some more. Then I also like to add in a little of the uh, Wonderful onion powder, because that's always a good extra bling bling, onion on top of onion, right? <laughs> and of course, when you've got onion powder, you should also add in a little garlic powder, because you always need more garlic on top of your garlic, yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta have that garlic in there. You can never have enough garlic. Now, uh, could add a little Tony Satchers in there too, uh, depending on you know, the salt uh, content may or may not interfere with uh, the purpose of the uh, cabbage soup diet or not. But uh, you know, I've got the jalapenos already in there, so I think it's going to have a good enough spice level. And hey, if it doesn't, you can add the Tony Satchers later. So I'm also going to add in a couple of bay leaves, and then once it cooks, I'm going to put in a little Italian herbs and seasoning blend. So last thing left are the two bay leaves. After the water comes to a boil, I'll put the bay leaves in then. Okay, we've got a nice boil, so I'm going to add these two bay leaves. Now we're just going to set it and forget it. I'm going to stir it up a little bit in there, get them down inside. Oh yeah. All these flavors looking nice. Ah, so I'm going to cover it and turn it down to simmer. And about uh, 30, 40 minutes from now, it should be ready. Okay, I think the next batch of cabbage stew is ready to check out. I think it's cooked down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. Wow. Ooh, look at there. Well, there's some big pieces of garlic still in here. 
so we're going to let this cool down before we can uh, even begin to sample it and see how it tastes in the end. But I think we have yet another great batch of the cabbage soup to keep our cabbage soup diet going. And tomorrow we get to have some meat. So we'll be cracking this open 8 a.m. to see what's in here for our fifth day of the cabbage soup diet. So it's time to add in the little uh, Italian seasoning herb blend. So I'm gonna polish off this. Usually I'd add probably even a little bit more in there because I do love some herbs. Ooh. And a uh, little paprika, a little white pepper might also be good to add in there if you like a little extra flavor. So all those herbs will definitely give it a nice little flavor. All right, I made a uh, last minute command decision that because I was low on the Italian herbs, I chopped up a little flat leaf Italian parsley I had on the refrigerator. We're gonna add that for a little extra bling bling because hey, that's the way we do it in New Orleans. And uh, you know, a lot of dishes that uh, we cook in New Orleans would like to add a little parsley at the end because it gives it such a lot of great color. It just makes it look really pretty and it's got a lot of good nutritional benefit actually. So the flat leaf to me is better than the curly parsley that's more of a uh, decorative side item that's not as tasty to me to eat. This flat leaf uh, is a little better to me to cook with personally. So all right, there we go. Now that is looking pretty. There we go. Okay, I'm liking that. Ooh. Ah, oh yeah, that's very nice. Day five weigh in is 216.4 pounds. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's day five. So we can have some meat, a pound and a half of meat. All the soup we want and all the tomatoes we want. So I got some of these little tiny grape tomatoes because they're easier to snack on. And we made a new batch of the soup. Let's look at our chuck roast and see how it turned out. 12 hours. Ooh. Oh yes. This is very nice and smooth. Very tender. It just slices so easy. Oh yes. Last time I did this, I was really, really craving the meat. This time, ah, you know, not so much. All right, that will be a good meal here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, this is gonna be the biggest meal I've had in five days, so. Day number five, we're going to dig into this new batch of cabbage soup and uh, finally a little pot roast. Ooh. Meat smells fantastic. Ooh, it looks really good. Look at this. It looks so nice and tender. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, now we're gonna see how it goes with the cabbage soup. Taste this new batch. Ooh. Mmm. Wow, all the good flavors. Mmm. Okay, we can also have all the tomatoes we want today. Mm. That's a good tomato. Okay, two more days to go. I'm feeling fine. Last time I did this, I was getting a little uh, really weird, exhausted feeling. So the meat day really like powered me through though and helped me get through it all. This time though, I'm uh, pacing better though. So uh, see how it goes. Any given day, things could change. Day six weigh in, 215.5 pounds. So, day 
six on oh, the cabbage soup diet. Only one more day to go and we're all done. Hooray. So uh, today, early this morning, I decided to go on a little two mile jog. And wow, that's the first time I got real hunger pains and I just felt uh, my gas tank was feeling kind of low there. But we got the cabbage soup to uh, tide us over in the meantime. So we're gonna eat some of this and then uh, it's the last day we get to have meat on this diet. So I've just got a little uh, of the pot roast mixed in with some cabbage. Let's taste it and see how it's uh, doing for us. Oh yeah, get a little, nice little chunk of meat with some cabbage in here. Oh. Now we can also eat other vegetables, but uh, I don't you know, think the cabbage is good enough for me. I don't feel like any other broccoli or any of those uh, other items we could have right now. I think I'm going to just stick with us for now. Mmm. Mmm. All right, well, tomorrow is coming up quick, so we'll see how we do. Day seven weigh in, 214.6 pounds. Oh, ho, ho, it's the seventh and final day of the cabbage soup diet. Today, we get to add in some brown rice to our meals. I like to uh, get this brown rice that's mixed in with wild rice. They sell in the bulk food section of Whole Foods. So this is some... Uh, Extra tasty stuff and the wild rice has a little extra fiber into it that I think uh, helps you out with better results. Okay, the rice is done. Let's take a look. Ooh, it looks nice and pretty to me. Oh, 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 finally, we're on day number seven of the cabbage soup diet. Today we get to eat a little rice. So we get the uh, cabbage soup and some rice this is my brown rice with some wild rice in it so i can't deny i've been craving these carbs oh okay let's get a little combo of this rice and the cabbage soup together oh this looks good oh mmm <laughs> so we're going to get through the rest of today, and uh, we'll do a little review later of how the ultimate results turned out with all of this. So, still a long day to get through today, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Cabbage soup diet, here we go. So I continued to drop weight as the afternoon went on to 214.2, and then down to 213.8 by that night. So, it's time for the final analysis of the cabbage soup diet. In summary, it works. So I started off at 223.6 and ended up at 213.8, which is a loss of 9.8 pounds, which is more than a pound a day, and exceeds the promise of the peel a pound cabbage soup diet. So, overall, I had great results. I've done this twice with good results both times. Now, my results certainly are going to be different than other people's, but overall, I've accomplished my goal of having my pants and my kilt fit right again, and also, I can pull my belt one inch tighter and get it back to where I want it. So, I'm happy with the results, and I'm also happy that all of you have tuned in today to the Knowledge Joe channel, and I really would be happy if you'd go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, destroy that subscribe button, comment below, let me know what you thought about this whole experience, and while you're down there, I really would appreciate it. If you remember, I work for tips, and if you could check out my Patreon link down there, that would really help me a lot. And also, while you're thinking, you could also think about sharing this video with any of your friends and contacts, because that also really does help me a lot, too. So thanks so much to all of you out there for watching this video, especially to my Patreons. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.